To my left, you can see that I've made some changes to the grill rack. The upper two shelves, I have some HLG 65 set up uh, above just a plant tray and a humidity dome. And on the very bottom rack, I actually have a couple of the high output T5s set up. I went and I took all the seeds I had started and I went through them and kind of grouped them into groups of six where uh, each individual shelf has six plants and each group of six has plants that are roughly the same height, uh, the same type and same look. Ideally, when I'm running a test like this, I would probably try to take cuttings and clones, that way they all have the same genetics. But, you know, this is what I have to work with now and this is what we're going to use. I took all the seedlings and transplanted them into um, these four inch pots. Uh, so they got a little bit more room to grow and they're looking pretty good right now. I was fortunate enough uh, previously to get my hands on some Nuke Juice by Nuke Heads. They sent me some. And so that's what we're going to use uh, for these plants because it's a nutrient that's specially formulated for hydroponics. And I'm really excited to try it out and, and see how it works. I mixed the Nuke Juice according to the label. I noticed that uh, the labels I had on my bottles versus the same product um, online were different and I'm not sure if there was a misprint in the labels but I went ahead and added uh, just over um, three mils per gallon which isn't a lot so I'm hoping it will be enough we'll, we'll keep using that ratio if we need to bump it up a little bit we will and each uh, pot I ended up giving 30 mils of, of uh, nutrient to. As you can see I've wrapped the rack in mylar and uh, this mylar is really cheap you can get it at any of the uh, dollar stores i'm sure they carry it it just helps your lights be that much more efficient for attaching uh, the mylar to the grow rack you could use something like tape i had uh, these rare earth magnets that uh, are pretty useful for that uh, i can just put the mylar around, put the magnet on, and it holds it in place. It, I find it works really good, and I, I would recommend that. I also cleaned up the cables a little bit. They were looking a little bit messy. So when you're having each tray sitting on a heat mat, uh, a light for each shelf, already that's getting to be a lot of cables. So I cleaned that up a little bit, and now it's just easier to manage. As you can see over here, the cart easily rolls around and I have access to, to all the electronic components on the side. So even though we're close to running this test, I don't think we're quite finished yet. And this is where I need your guys' input. Each shelf is still open to the one below it. So should I be putting something on top of each shelf to block the light? Or should I even worry about that? Is it, is it enough light that we really need to worry about light spilling from two feet above to the one below it, even though the tray blocks quite a bit of it? The other thing too is this is shelf is next to a window so there is a little bit of natural light that is coming in and hitting these plants and uh, we might be able to stop that, block that a little bit because there's still a piece of mylar I can put over this whole thing and, and block a little bit more of that. The other thing then would be these heat mats are actually generating a bit of heat, heat rises so maybe I need to have a little fan in here to circulate the heat all around this shelf. Once that is done though, I think we'll have uh, a decent setup to, to run a few tests. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be some room for error, but having six plants in, in, on each shelf, I think will give us a general idea how the lights are doing and how the plants are responding to the nutrients and the different lighting conditions. So like I said, right now, this is what we have and I think it's looking pretty good. But as always, I enjoy reading you guys' comments and your input and I will definitely take it into consideration what else you guys think we can do to this to make sure it's going to be a fair test. Everything's running great. I, I like how things are looking and uh, we'll see how things turn out in another week or so. So thanks for watching and tune in for the next one. See ya.